Daenerys's handmaiden Eri realizes that Daenerys is pregnant with Drago's child. They throw a small feast to celebrate. Jorah Mormont is troubled by the news and sends word of it to his paymaster, Varys, in King's Landing. Daenerys tells Drogo she is certain the child will be a boy. Daenerys strikes Viserys after he threatens her and her unborn son. King Robert Baratheon orders Daenerys, her unborn child, and Viserys killed. In Vase Dothrak, omens are taken and the crones proclaim that Drago's son will be the stallion who mounts the world. Daenerys names him Rago for her deceased brother, Rhaegar. Later, during a feast to celebrate, Viserys threatens to kill both Daenerys and Rago unless Drogo upholds his end of their bargain. To assist him in reclaiming the Iron Throne. This prompts Drogo to kill Viserys by pouring molten gold over his head. Daenerys and her unborn son are later nearly killed by an assassin sent by Robert Baratheon, although they are saved just in time by Esser Jorah's intervention. Upon learning of the attempt on the life of his wife and unborn son, Drogo declares to invade Westeros and to take back the Seven Kingdoms for Rago. On the borders of Lazar, close to the Red Waste, a heavily pregnant Daenerys has Miri Mosh Duer perform a blood magic ritual to save Drogo from an infected wound. Whilst the ritual is taking place, Drago's blood riders object to the ritual and one of them, Kotho, knocks Daenerys to the ground when she tries to stop him from intervening, causing her to go into premature labor. Desperate to help her, Esser Jorah brings Daenerys into the tent where Miri is conducting the ritual, despite her orders not to let anyone enter. Rago is reportedly stillborn and comes out looking like a monster. Miri Mosh Duer claims that he had scales like a lizard, was blind with bat-like wings, and had innards full of graveworms. She also says that when she touched him, his skin fell away from his bones, and that it was his death that paid for Drago's life. 